starts with you. Kirklees College Virtual Open Day. This presentation is about studying at our engineering centre. If you have any questions, then please type them into chat and we will answer them at the end. Kirklees has an established history within engineering industry 
and our bespoke engineering centre, located just off St Andrews Road in Huddersfield, was developed in partnership with local and national engineering companies. It provides students aged 16 plus with a range of full-time courses and apprenticeships. Students can access state-of-the-art workshops for CNC, manufacturing, maintenance, mechanical, electronic engineering, fabrication and welding. Motor vehicle students work in dedicated automotive workshops, working on light and heavy vehicles and custom cars. They also have access to a spray booth designed to replicate a real life motor vehicle workshop. Do you want to have a look around? recap, we offer a wide range of full-time engineering courses that cover all the different types of engineering. Our engineering apprenticeships cover specialisms including tool maker and tool die maintenance, engineering product design and development, mechatronics maintenance and technician machinist. Apprenticeships are also available in fabrication and welding. Students interested in motor vehicle can study full-time or an apprenticeship at this centre. Students at this centre have access to outstanding facilities. You have seen some of them in the video, but we will take a closer look over the next few slides. As with all our centres, entry into the building is controlled via a door access system that is activated by your student ID badge. You need to wear your ID badge at all times when in college. While you are in college, our friendly reception staff can help answer any questions you may have. The majority of our ground floor is dedicated to workshop space in this building. The next few slides will look at the workshop facilities available while you are on your course. We have machining and fitting workshops, industry standard CNC machinery provided by Herco in our large workshop. You will study electronic engineering by accessing the workshops on the second floor. Our fabrication and welding apprenticeships continue to be popular with students using the workshops when they are in college to improve their skills. While next door, our motor vehicle workshops provide students with access to four post ramps, tyre fitting machine and balancing equipment, MOT testing facilities that include MOT lanes and rollers. The refectory area in this building is located on the ground floor with cook breakfast proving to be especially popular with students. Food is available in the morning and at lunchtime and students have access to vending machines as well. 
If you qualify for free school meals, then you can apply for free college meals via the college bursary scheme. The refectory also has double doors that open out onto a terrace so that students can also eat outside. You are welcome to bring your own food into the refectory space. The Open Plan Learning Resource Centre is located on the second floor of the centre and provides students with access to car textbooks and computers. Students can also borrow a laptop from this facility to support them with their studies. As well as supporting students to develop in their studies, we ensure that students have access to a wide range of support facilities. Given the current situation with COVID, all young people need to know help is there if they require it. All students have access to a progress coach for day-to-day -day support, with more specialised support available if required. This ranges from counselling service, financial support, or identified support for our more vulnerable learners, which include our looked after children and young parents or carers. Our award-winning additional learning support team are available support learners in the classroom. The additional learning support team have their own presentation which is available to listen to. Let's meet Nathan and Mohammed, who are two of our student engagement mentors. Hi, I'm Nathan. I love keeping myself fit and healthy through going to the gym or through walking. Enjoy going out to restaurants for something to eat and I'm also fascinated by anything to do with tattoos. Hi everyone, I'm Mohammed. I love exploring new places, learning about new things, and anything related to sports, especially football and cricket. And one thing that we have in common is that we are both student engagement mentors at college. So, what does a student engagement mentor do? You may see us on the gates in the morning with a friendly hello for you. We might be in the atrium running events that you can come and join in with. We might be running a support group across the different college sites doing one-to-one -one sessions with our students, working alongside charities and agencies to do projects for the college, or we might just be running drop-in sessions for you to swing by, have a brew and a quick chat. As student engagement mentors, we uphold the college's values in all that we do, and we offer a completely safe and non-judgmental environment for you to come and discuss with us how you're feeling about college and anything you're struggling with in or outside of your college life. If we are not the right people to support you, we will signpost you to the right services to make sure you feel heard, supported, and most importantly, that you are happy to be here at college and are able to continue on your course. So when would you come and use us and ask us for support? If you feel that there are any barriers between you and succeeding in college, come and speak to us. We might be able to support in a practical way, such as filling out forms or helping you to attend appointments, or it might be that we have to schedule some sessions where we can look at working with you on your mental health, anger management, building resilience and things along those lines. If you see me or any of the student engagement mentors around college, please do say hi and hopefully we will see you in September. All the very best. Our students are our best ambassadors. 94% of them would recommend college to a friend, while 96% of them are happy at college, believe they are treated fairly and say the standard of teaching is good. 99% of students feel safe at college. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, please type them into chat and we will do our best to answer them. OK, so we've got quite a few of the staff available to answer questions and um, we are short of time, but we'll do our best to get through them. Should we go to Chris first? Hi. Hi, Chris. OK, so if I was to do an apprenticeship in motor vehicle, would there be much of a future after the apprenticeship? Absolutely. Yeah, um, you join the apprenticeship. Um, they work on a two year system or a three year system, depending on which suits you. Um, you will be progressing throughout your own company. You obviously need a company if you're going to be an apprentice and you can progress throughout the company to be a master tech. OK, um, and then how many students are in the class? We we average anywhere between um, 
from 15 to 18, depending. Uh, some of the apprenticeships can be a little bit lower, depending on the numbers we attract. OK, and do we do work on motorbikes? We, we've got a range of vehicles that we work on, from heavy, heavy vehicles to cars to motorbikes to bicycles as well. Um, a lot of the technology in, in motorcycles is similar to motor cars. Um, obviously, they've only got two wheels instead of four, but they've got an engine, they've got brakes, they've got suspension. Um, so we work on a variety of vehicles, yes. OK, shall we go? We've got a few engineering questions, so shall we go to Will? OK, hi, Will. Yep. Hi, you're right. OK, so I was just checking we could hear you. So, Will, um, how will I be kept updated about my child's performance on their engineering course? Oh, sorry, Sally, the, uh, the stream just went then. Was that a, a question about um, parent tutor communication? Yes. Yeah, um, so there's a couple of different ways uh, we tend to uh, maintain communication. Um, we've got our pastoral sort of side of things where we've got staff called our progress coaches who work with uh, our students on a sort of a weekly basis. They might do one to one sessions with them. They might um, sort of communicate on sort of more group you know, sort of discussions where any concerns are raised the progress coach may contact you or one of our uh, study program leads um, I look after the full-time level two engineering course and I maintain regular contact through email uh, through phone sort of through text with parents um, in the past there's been um, sort of parents evenings that have been done as well and we're looking at perhaps a, a, you know a couple of different alternatives as well maybe sort of term we updates uh, but wherever so, sorry, for me, whenever a concern arises, we'll make that initial contact with home and have that discussion and keep home up to, up, up to date. And it's not all just if there's a concern. We, we always like to pass on positive feedback as well. So we, we try to keep contact in a range, <coughs> excuse me, in a range of different ways, which would help support um, the progress and development of, of our students and learners. OK, and um, the next one is, is the parking available at engineering for students? We do have, a, yeah, we do have a car park. Uh, there there is sort of a parking area. Yeah. Uh, I think um, we'll bikes as well, yeah. freezing, so shall we move to Chris? Um, I think there could be a problem with Will's Wi-Fi. Chris, is the parking? Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, we do have a parking area for the students. Uh, it's not heavily tarmacked. It's not marked out as bays. Um, it's very popular with um, our students. Um, it's probably only the one of the centres of engineering that has got free parking available. Okay. Apologies, I'm not sure if I've asked you this because I might not have dismissed it. Um, do we wear masks in practical sessions? We, we are following government guidelines on COVID. Um, and as you can appreciate, it's changed quite a lot recently. In practical sessions, if we can maintain two metres distance, then we don't have to wear masks. Um, often we try and maintain two metre distance um, so we'd mitigate the chance of spreading any any sorts of COVID. So we don't we don't wear masks as long as we can maintain two metres distance. OK, and we've actually got a question around motorsport, uh, Chris. Um, will I still learn about motorsport on the motor vehicle cars? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the only reason we still do a level two diploma, we do a level two certificate. The vehicles we work on are exactly the same as they would be on motorsport. The only difference is that because of COVID, we couldn't go out to any race events. Um, so we've had to, you know, we don't market it as motorsport, but we still work on BMWs. We've got a little, we've got a racing car. We've got custom cars that we're building up. Um, so we've got a range of vehicles that students can work on. Yeah. Okay. We always try and glamorize it so it's very sporty looking. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, the next question is, am I in four days a week for motor vehicle? Motor vehicle will depend. It could be in two to three days a week, depending on whether you need to study GCSE maths and English. OK, um, we've got a couple of apprenticeship questions. Can we go to Adam, please? Yeah, sure. Go okay. ahead. Adam, we've got somebody who's still man not managed to secure an employer. Is there still time? Um, yeah, so there, there is still time. 
Um, ideally, if you can have an employer before you start your apprenticeship, that would be great. However, um, it's not it's not a massive issue because we do have a recruitment team as well. That's they have um, employers that are also seeking apprentices. So what I'd suggest is to get a CV up to date. Um, and you can email email it to our recruitment team who can then send it off to the different employers um, that are looking for these apprentices to try and find you a match. So ideally, yes, but it's not the end of the world if you don't, because we can we can help out with that as well. OK, does it go against me if I'm trying to get an apprenticeship in different types of engineering? Um, as in which types? Um, do, you, do you mean more than one? Subject. Yeah, I'm, I'm presuming that's what they mean. I'm guessing they're keeping their options open and trying anything. Yeah, um, it's we do have a swap don't drop policy where if you say you start um, an apprenticeship in electrical engineering and you start it and then you feel it's not for you, um, you can transfer onto a different uh, qualification, a different apprenticeship within engineering as well. So yeah, there is that option. Okay, and can a student move from full time onto an apprenticeship? Um, I'm not 100%. I think he can, um, as long because we can RPL, so recognise recognition of prior learning, what they've done on the full time course across to the apprenticeship as well. So, it, so it is possible, yes. Okay, so the last two questions that people have typed in around enrolling. Um, if you're an applicant, you will be sent a letter from the applications team that tells you when we are enrolling and you'll be provided an option to enrol uh, online if you're a full time applicant. Um, that information will be coming out mid July and enrolment will be uh, online for the apprenticeships. Once you've secured employment uh, in July, our apprenticeship recruitment team will start contacting you to discuss enrolment. Um, just quick question, Adam. Apprenticeships, does their term start September like the full timers? Yeah, that's the same. It's, it starts in September, ideally. However, we've had different starts at different times. Depends on the circumstance. Um, and then they'll probably they'll do like the first year, um, three days at college, a couple of days in the workplace, and then following on from that, it'll go to day release. Um, however, so it does follow term time at college, but the days that they're not in college between terms, they'll be in the workplace as well. OK, thank you very much, Adam. Um, I will end the session now because I'm conscious of time. Um, we have got another event running this evening um, that's all about our Taylor Hill Animal Care Centre. This session will, has been recorded and a, uh, a recording of this will be placed on the college website in the next few days for you to listen to, as well as all the other events that have taken place this week. If you do have any questions, then our information team are available till 6.45 tonight to answer questions. You can email info at kirkleyscollege.ac.uk or telephone 01484 437070 and a member of the team will help you out. They'll be back again tomorrow as well. Thank you very much for attending. Thank you.